Jos Hoifelt, uh, this was a real comeback for you. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, this derby? It was a derby that, uh, that I know, you know. I've been here before those games, we won as well, so it's, uh, it feels like coming back, you know, and being uh, directly back into the game is nice. Sorry, but he's the best, he's the king. <laughs> I was uh, struggling with an injury, but uh, if it's dual guard and I say I'll play with one leg, so uh, then I just, I had to go and I had to come for it, and that's what I did. And uh, what about the match? Uh, were one down after, I don't know, 20 minutes, something like that. What did you say to each other? I say, but, uh, you know, like, uh, that's kind of those things. That's one of those things. You're one down, but still zero, zero. You know, if we keep the heads, if we keep the organization, what we talked about before, it's very hard to break us down. And, uh, you know, directly after the red card, they had a bit of a spell. But I think after that, you know, we, uh, we controlled it, especially second half. And then they got the red card as well, and then it's uh, an even game. And then it's hard to beat us. But in the second half, you couldn't tell that Djurgården was one man more. Uh, what is the secret to, to defend and also create chances like you did? Putting, sending people out of the back line. Sending them out of the back line because I see some games and I saw the, the midfielders dropping into the back line and you got eight midfield of eight defenders. And then everybody doesn't know what they have to do anymore. The only thing I said is to, to Offi and to uh, Dixon, who they done both unbelievable jobs get up, get in their faces, win the second balls, I win the balls, they come behind. And that's it. Coming back here to Oiko, play in front of all these people, it was uh, almost 40,000 here uh, at France Arena. What's, uh, what's your opinion about uh, the atmosphere? Come on, it's the best. That's why I came back. I had a lot of uh, uh, clubs in England who were calling me and everything, but uh, as soon as uh, Bjorn called me, my, uh, my mind was uh, made up and uh, it, it took uh, two days negotiations, a lot of paperwork, but in the end we got there. Thanks, man. Cheers. Fuck, yeah, yeah.